Good morning, everybody. Um, it's 9.30. I have woken up early because I slept early last night. So the medication wasn't too bad. Um, because usually when I sleep at 2, I would be really tired in the morning. So Because I slept at 12 last night. Um, first of all, I want to show you guys like my outfit of the day. And then I'm going to do the unboxing of my ship-in stuff. Um, as you can see, uh, this is uh, a cloth. This is like a short, a short sleeve uh, top from H uh, and M. It says W, and then what does it say? London Luxury, London Luxury, and then I have this pleated skirt and tights. Um, so, um, well, because I woke up early, so I put on some eyeliner before already so I'm gonna um, do the unboxing now this is the box as you can see um, this is like the place where I order box that can't be found in Hong Kong anymore so I'm gonna open them and show you guys and there are only three books that I ordered to make up for the cost this is how it looks like but the thing is, uh, it's like really packed, it's packed really well in bubble wraps. And I now I have to open the bubble wraps too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Sorry for the noise. Who likes to play with bubble wraps? I used to when I was young, but like now not anymore. But it's funny, like especially those really big bubble wraps. Um, so these are the three books. I'm gonna introduce them by one by one and like tell. Oh, I have bought. Oh, I bought four, not three. Okay. Um. What did I buy this? Okay, never mind. Okay, this is the one that I was talking about. The Schindler's List. It's by Thomas um, Kalini. Uh, the reason I bought this is because the Olympic girls skate to this song. And it's also related to some historical events, um, which is, okay, I'll read the back for you. A stunning novel based on the true story of how German war prof profiter and uh, factory director Oskar Schindler come to rescue more Jews from the gas chamber than any other single person during the World War II. So why is it called a Schindler's List? It's because Schindler's is, uh, Schindler is his last name. And is list, and if you watch the video, you will see that he's he has employed a secretary who is a Jew, and he asked them to type up the list of the people who are Jews who can work for him in the factories. And the sad point of the whole story is that even though he saved so many people, he was sad that he couldn't save more. And I'm really touched by that. And um. Uh, well, and that's why it's called the list. It's the list of the people, and there were like, uh, from what I read online, it's around a uh, hundred, uh, eleven, eleven hundred that he saved in his factory. And when he had to flee at the end of the World War, he regretted. He cried like a man cried in front of everybody that he couldn't have, that he could have saved one more life. So. I'm getting a bit emotional, but uh, I think this is a really cool book, and this is a really, really good book if you're interested in history and um, and like the World War Two, because I am, and I'm always looking for like this sort of interesting history book that gives you knowledge. Um, oh, and then I'm gonna talk about this. Oh, 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 oh I should follow by this one. Uh, it's called Hiding Place. I have not uh, heard of this book before and it's not recommended by anybody. It was just a book that I found online as uh, related to the Shindis list. And it's also about another woman who lives with her older sister uh, watching the concentration camp happening. So, um, so in like what they say here is that the, both of the sisters were sent to the camp for helping the Jews and 
This book is a little bit on the Christian side uh, because it talks of uh, Christianity. Although I'm a Christian, but I can say I'm not a very faithful one. Um, but I do believe in Christian, Christianity and God. But uh, like this book just tells you how the, the lady and the people around who are friendly, who try to save the world, who try to save the people around them who are suffering for no reason. And it's so meaningful to read, to read all this book because it tells you that humanity is like, is a very important part of life and it's so important to save, like, no, it's so important to, um, it, it gives you faith back to the human back to human because sometimes we watch pe people gr doing cruel things like what is on the news oh somebody killed somebody you know somebody was beating up an animal that's when we lose faith in hum humanity and with this kind of book it tells you that you can be a good person and whatever the small difference that you do in the world will always make a bigger difference in the end and that's what I'm always trying to tell people like and trying to persuade myself that no matter what I do, I can still do the best of my ability and make the difference. That's why it's like a value stem from young that I really want to help people while we go volunteering and stuff. But uh, it's just that I don't recognize myself for what I do, and that's why it sometimes leads to me feeling so useless, so worthless, and stuff. But this is. Uh, a book which I don't know about the content. It's a really really small book. Oh, okay. a book with really small words, but it's really light. Like you can just carry it around on like those big. Hey there, back again. Um, so what I'm gonna do on this second part. It's also related to history, and I forgot. I've forgotten that I have like bought this book. It's the man's search for meaning, by Vic. Victor E. Frank. Okay, this is the name of the book, and it's really thin. And I just read from the back at that it's also about the Nazi Germany, which they are famous for killing people and in the death camps. Okay, this is my own words, not what they say here. Um. So then. This person is a real story. All these are real story. This person is a psychiatrist. He's a doctor, psychiatrist, working in the four different labor camps, and including one of a place which I can't pronounce because it's in German, and where his parents, his brother, and his pregnant wife perished, like they died, and based on his own experience and story of many patients. Um, okay, he argued that we cannot avoid suffering, but we can choose how to cope with it, find meaning in it, and move forward with a renewed purpose. This is not exactly about, um, I heard that he recounted in a very fictional way, so it's like reading a story, but it's also about promoting the value that we should treasure what we have, and we should live the life that we want as happy as we could even though we cannot change our surrounding like even if you're living in the poor you can still be a happy person be satisfied be content with what you have and i think that's what this kind of books are trying to tell us that's why i love to read so much as for my sister and my brother they don't they don't read books especially my sister she will only watch movies and and like every time when i suggest a book to her she'll be like no i don't like to read books Whatever. Okay, the, and the reason why I bought the three books together with this one is because I needed this one for my law stuff. It's suggested by uh, my law my law lecturer who is uh, who is great. He's wonderful. He's the best lecturer I have met so far in like my three to four years in university. Yes, three to four years because I have. The first, the first two semester, and you can see this by uh, Michael Fal Falcoit. Uh, it's on discipline and punish. 
Discipline and Punish. The Birth. Okay, this is real, the real name of the book. The Birth of the Prison. It's. You know, this person, this person, he is a very famous philosopher for arguing why do we punish people. And that's why he wrote this book. And it's a suggested reading for my law. Uh, for my law, uh, especially I have an essay coming up that I need to write, so I would like to read on his like point of view. And he was saying that he regretted, like because during his school years he was so busy that he didn't have time to uh, read book to read the book. But uh, he would suggest us to read it if we have time. So, um, well, basically this is <laughs> this is a groundbreaking book by the most influential philosopher since Star Starter compel us to okay wait um because uh well he suggested he examined the innovation that range from abolition of torture which is true we are like stopping all the torture we're trying to stop the internationally the torture of people while of course there are countries that rejects to that and then they just ignore it and just goes on with that whatever they are doing and like including the USA who suggests that like the death penalty it's required but they also talk about okay if you are a law student you will understand what I'm saying one of the theories of punishment is retribution and why do we punish people if there are no free will um, that's what I learned from that and the movement from like uh, institutionalization and uh, to rehabilitation and refined criminal activity it's actually this is a book of like research and just really okay you can see they are tiny words they are this book is a really uh, a theoretical philosophical book for those of you who hate philosophy then no this is probably not a good recommendation but if you're interested in why prison came about because back then prison was just a place to store prisoner before they were before they were executed before they were hanged before like all those cruel punishment that happened to them you can search on like whatever they do they just do horrible things to criminals but nowadays we have prison where we store the prisoner it's called incapacity incapacitation where you prevent and also deterrence it prevent the person from doing future harm to the society um, so this is this person examining why is there this prison coming about and whether we should punish people so I think I have done the unboxing for today and yes the box is empty and I should stop right here uh, because I need to prepare for school. I have an IT efficient efficiency test coming up now So I have to go to school and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see what I can post. So see you. Bye